Join me as I show you three different ways to do decoupage techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of decoupage using fusion decoupage and transfer gel and three different types of decoupage papers that we have at L&J Goods. Let's talk about some basic supplies that you need for successful decoupage. In addition to your decoupage paper, you'll want a painted surface. The fusion decoupage and transfer gel medium, a brush, some scissors, a little bit of sandpaper. Additional application tools would be plastic wrap and a plastic card. I always start with a painted surface. Why is that? Because most of our decoupage papers that are tissue have a transparency to them. When they get wet, they're going to show the substrate that is underneath the paper. So I prefer to paint my surfaces in a light color. I've prepared some surfaces with Fusion Mineral Paint. I'll be using Monahan papers for this first technique. They're a thicker paper. The first thing that I want to do is I want to size my paper so that it will fit entirely inside the tray. These papers are a little bit longer so what I do is I position it. I want the Merry Christmas to show. So I'm just going to run my fingernail along the inner edge so that I create a crease. And then I'm gonna trim the top of it. I don't like this edge showing along here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to utilize the part that I trimmed off. Pop that on there like that. Beautiful. If you want to, you can trim off the white edges. I'm gonna leave them on. The decoupage and transfer medium is a thick gel-like medium. I'm gonna apply a very generous coat to the inside bottom of my tray. I wanna make sure that I have enough medium so that when I begin to adhere my decoupage paper, I can remove any excess. Excess will squeeze out of the sides. To lay my paper in place, press it down with my hands first. I'll take my plastic card and working from the inside out, I'm going to gently but firmly press along my paper to remove any excess. And you can see, you can see all of that excess that comes off. That's a good thing. We know then that we have enough medium. The transfer medium does dry clear. So if you get any on the edge of the tray, it's okay. We'll wipe it off later. I obviously did not get enough transfer medium there. So I'm gonna gently lift this back, very gently. It's already started to adhere. And apply more medium and then press it back into place. Keep in mind that paper, when it gets wet, does stretch a bit. Um, it's a very changeable medium. So you might find that you'll have a few bubbles and wrinkles on the surface. Many of these will disappear as it dries. For the next step, I can take a bit of plastic wrap and gently rub over the surface of my paper to make sure that I have very good adhesion. Let's put this little trim piece on here, a little bit of my decoupage medium and run it right along that top edge. Because we're working with distressed papers, I really don't mind if I have any wrinkles or bubbles or little oopsies because I think it all adds to the, the look that we're going for, which is an aged and rustic appearance. I have created a trim border that matches the rest of the border of the decoupage paper. Now I'm gonna put this aside and let it dry. My tray is dry, and now I'm ready to apply a top coat. The Fusion Tough Coat comes in two different finishes, matte and gloss. The sealer does separate while it's sitting in the jar. 
tip it upside down and swirl it well to incorporate all of the ingredients. Keep in mind with decoupage, it, it is a water-based medium. When we add a water-based medium over it, like the Fusion Tough Coat, it has the potential to lift what's already there. It can create more bubbles. It can create more wrinkles. One of the ways that I like to avoid this is applying extremely thin coats of Tough Coat. I'm going to remove all of the excess from my brush. We want that Tough Coat to dry almost as it's being applied so that it doesn't have time to soak down into the decoupage paper. As I'm brushing this on, I can feel that it's very tacky. It's almost dry. Let this dry completely and then do a second coat. This is my second coat. I'm still applying a thin layer. And now for my final coat, I can apply it much more liberally. And there you have it. Very basic decoupage techniques using Monahan papers. For our second technique, we're gonna be using our Mint by Michelle decoupage papers. These are a tissue paper, but they do have a thicker finish on them. So they're not quite a tissue paper. They're not as heavy as a Monahan paper. Let's start with our Fusion decoupage and transfer medium. Thin it with just a brush full of water. Thinning the medium means that it is less likely to soak into the paper very quickly, and that means it's less likely to tear the paper. Well, I'm gonna start applying my medium, maybe the top third of this space. Again, you'll notice that I have painted my surface with a light color. Because these papers are transparent, they will show through to the background a little bit. This time I'm gonna use a brayer to press my paper into place and remove the excess gel. A little bit of the plastic wrap to help smooth out any excess wrinkles or bubbling. I'll remove any excess along the edge with a damp cloth. To pull my paper back just slightly, back to this wet area, and apply another coat of the medium onto my board. Gently press it into place. I use my brayer to remove any excess. And then my plastic wrap. Work gently with the plastic wrap so that you don't risk tearing. I created just a little bit of a tear here, but I'm gonna fix it later. I will apply a finish just like I did with the Mint by Michelle papers. 
I'm removing any excess gel from the outside edge. Sand right along the edge and it will remove that paper. Right here is going to bother me. So I'm gonna show you how you can decoupage over a mistake by just adding more decoupage. Like that. I'm going to take a little bit of my medium and brush it over the area where I'm going to apply this butterfly and press him into place. Our little boo-boo that we had under there disappears. Sand the edges to create a nice smooth finish and to remove any dried decoupage medium. Swirling my Fusion Tough Coat so that it gets all mixed well and incorporated. We don't want to shake it because that'll make bubbles. Remove all of the excess Tough Coat from the brush. You want to work with a very dry brush so that it's drying as it goes onto the paper. Now you may get a little bit of bubbling or lifting that can happen, but don't pan it. It'll suck back down as it dries. And I will continue to apply about three more layers of this dry brush finish technique. Today we used Mint by Michelle decoupage papers, JRV decoupage papers, and Monahan papers, along with Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Medium and Fusion Tough Coat for a flawless decoupage finish. You'll find links for all of these products in the description box below. All of the products that I use today are available at ellenjgoods.com. Don't forget, if you want to catch another one of our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment below to tell us what you'd like to see next from L&J Goods.